recognize it and change. So the recovery question of the day, do you believe that we ever recover? Mm, this is a good one. Uh, so my first thoughts on this is, is the assumption that we have arrived somehow and that we're somehow perfected and that we have somehow obtained, you know, uh, recovery in a sense. And, you know, the words of Paul come to mind and, and he said, not that I have considered myself to obtain this, but I press on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. And so this view of apprehension, uh, it's kind of a, a, a give and take. And it's kind of both in this situation. But what, one thing that we have to understand in here is that we haven't arrived. And that is that we haven't, we haven't got to the place where we're untouchable. We haven't arrived to the location where we are without fault and that we don't have the ability to make some really bad decisions, right? And I think the, the danger in this is to think that we're outside of that um, realm and then of course be elated with uh, pride and self-conceit. And as we know, the pride goes before the fall. And when, we, when we're so self-assured and we're filled with all this self-confidence and we, you know, we think that we're bopping along and we're rocking this thing and we've got it all figured out, um, it seems like life has a way to, sh to begin to educate us and to show us otherwise, right? And so there's a great danger in thinking that we're untouchable. So I definitely don't want to apply that. But in a sense, we are both. We are both recovered and recovering. And that is we have recovered uh, from, uh, from the use of substance and we're no longer using. Um, but we are recovering from the effects and the uh, damage that that substance caused, right? And the reality is, is that uh, addiction uh, brings a lot of dysfunction. It brings a lot of pain inside of our lives. And it brings a lot of areas in our frame, our family, faith, fitness, and finance that we need to recover from. We have detrimental mindsets and belief systems that are still, we still hold on to those and they're still affecting multiple different areas of our lives. So we recovered from using the substance, but we're recovering from, uh, and we're maintaining our position uh, of sobriety and growing inside of that life to come to the place where uh, temptation and all those things are really far removed from our lives. And that is really where we wanna be. So the, I, I believe that the Bible bears this out. And we're talking about uh, recovered or, and recovering. And the Bible says that we are, we are kind of both saved and being saved at the same time. And that is that, you know, we've had this experience with God. We've been born again. And that uh, we now have this relationship. We now have peace with God. We have faith. Uh, we have this really this new life that has begun to um, start. Uh, that being said, we're still changed and we're still in this process of growth and maturity. And so I, though I might be saved, I am being saved at the same time. And that I am growing inside of this, um, this situation that began to happen in my life. Uh, Paul put it this way, is that we're, as we behold uh, Christ, as we behold uh, the truth, we are changed in the same image from glory to glory. And that is uh, one step at a time, progress, forward movement. And this all speaks of, uh, of maturity. And when we start out on this recovery journey, we are, we are mere infants, right? We are babies, goo goo gaga, messing ourselves all the time, depending on other people to feed us and to nurture us. And we're very unstable and we make a lot, a lot of mistakes. Uh, we are crawling, right? We haven't yet begun to learn to walk. And as we begin to walk, we begin to fall down and make mistakes. We let our anger get the best of us. And we still harbor resentments and all of these different things that are taking place inside of our lives. It is a process of growth. And we don't kick a baby uh, who starts to walk and they fall, right? We don't kick them when they're down. Uh, encouragement and support is necessary. So we're going from childhood to manhood. And... We're in this process. And so we are both recovered and recovering at the same time. And Paul says this, that uh, when I became a man, I put away childish things. And this process of recovery is about uh, seeing those childish things and 
putting them away, beginning on this new path. 